welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing a happy birthday set especially for madam glam and to celebrate their birthday they've given me a 40 percent off code for you guys which is nat mug hp B. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Um, so I'm using, um, right, I'll just go over the colours. So the first one I've got here is Perfect White. I'm going to tell you them as I go because I didn't do a very good job of showing them. <laughs> um, so this is Perfect White. We're going to put two coats of this on the nail. Um, each coat is cured in my Madame Glam. I can't think what the name of the lamp is. It's one with a pretty pattern on. Um, the, anyway, it's cured in that for 30 seconds. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the dots were minted dots from Nail Sugar. You can use code NATMUG10 to get 10% off your Nail Sugar order. And um, by the way, the 40% off code is well worth taking advantage off of Madame Glam because their gel polishes are beautiful. So that's the second coat. That's going in the lamp. We're going to forget about that now for a minute. Um, the next nail, I am going to use Perfect White again. I'm going to do two coats, but I'm only going to take this about halfway down the nail and then I'm going to use an ombre brush to fade the white gel polish down. And then I'm just going to flick it, flick, 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 flick. And we're just going to sort of, we're going to do like a like an ombre, but with fresh air. <laughs> More of a fade. We want the tip to be see-through. Um, so I'm going to go in with my second coat. This one I do take a little bit further down. Because I felt like I wanted it just that little bit further down. But it kind of adds to the ombre as well. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I find it easier if I flick from left to right as opposed to up and down. Some people can do a really good ombre like using the brush the other way. I, I don't know. I just prefer doing it this way. So this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are going to sort of cover it but not really cover it completely so don't worry if it's not like amazing um i'm gonna go over this now with madam glam's base gel i'm not gonna cure this i'm just gonna put a nice thin not you don't want it too th you don't want it you don't want a really thick coat because you don't want the nail to start getting bulky but you want this to have a nice even coverage you want it to be a nice even coat even coat even layer coat you know <laughs> What am I about? And then we're going to pick up these dots using a dotting tool. And the. I'm going to put more dots at the cuticle area. And as I go down the nail, the dots are going to decrease in size. So I'm going to use the smaller dots, but also they're not going to be as compact at the free edge as what they, as what they are at the cuticle end. So. I'm going to let you watch me do this and we're putting this on that uncured base coat. So I will come back to you in a second. Okay, so I think that is going to be enough. Um, I'm going to pop that into the lamp once I am happy. And then we're going to go over with some base coat. This is just to try and smooth the nail out because with all those dots, if we top coated it straight away, um, it would end up um, bumpy. But I do actually go ahead and decide that I want to put a little bit of builder gel over the top as well. So I'm going to use Madame Glam's um, Pure Serenity. This is their clear builder gel. Um, you could do this instead of the base coat. I just wasn't sure what to do at the time. The base coat didn't quite do enough. So I thought, well, we'll just put a layer of this over. Um, so I'm just going to put a nice even coat of this on. And remember, if you're doing a long nail, you want to make sure that um, you give it a little bit of structure. So you want to make sure you get your apex and everything in. But if you're doing this just as a gel polish set on natural nails, then you don't have to worry too much about that. I mean, if they're quite long nails, you'll probably want to give it a bit of a, an apex anyway. But 
yeah anyway i'll hold it upside down as well for a little bit before i pop it in the lamp then i'm gonna clean off the tacky layer with some isopropyl alcohol and i will then give it a quick file i'm not going to file it too much i just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth ready to top coat if i file if i over file it i'm going to file into the dots and we don't really want to do that otherwise we will lose the design so just be careful just be i'm just feeling it here to feel if there's any bumps in it um, and if i do feel any bumps and i'm just going to go over and file a bit more once you're happy just going to um, clean it off with some more isopropyl alcohol just to get rid of the dust and then we can top coat okay so i'm going to use madame glam's no white top gel to now top coat this nail obviously this is the bit that i like i quite like that the the tip on this nail is is a is a see-through nail so i'm just gonna faff a little bit i've just bought my dog and he's wet because he's had to have a bath because he got all muddy and he's gone all mad now he's having a mad five minutes okay so i'm going to use honest sky now for the next nail this is just going to be a very simple plain color nail i don't want to do anything drastic or you know just so it's just going to be purely two coats of color so that's the first coat again 30 seconds in the lamp and then another coat now I did forget to top coat this um, because I I thought I was going to go back to this nail um, initially I was going to do something on it and then I, th I decided not to so what I do is I I done my colour and then before I top coated it Teddy will you stop? Um, before I top coated it, uh, yeah I done the colour and then I left it because I thought I'll, I won't do that yet because I might add something to it so um, but I do use velvet matte top coat on that one then I'm taking the vivid purple um this one is gorgeous and i've got um perfect black as well this is just their their simple black their simple plain black and i've got my natalie margaret detailer brush i'm going to use this i've put some color on the bottom of my palette i've got some of that purple and in a little in a little minute in a, in a minute i'll say a little while or in a minute um i'm gonna put some black and white on as well so we can add some shading to this balloon i'm gonna this is this is a balloon <laughs> you can make this as big or as little as you want um i wanted it to be big ish but not massive uh, does, is that am i making sense i don't know but i'm literally just gonna draw out a balloon shape and then i will i'll, I'll get back to you in a second Okay, so don't forget you need that little bit at the bottom that you tie up on the balloon that little nipple bit i don't know what it's called nipple <laughs> it's not really a nipple um and i've popped that in the lamp to cure i do like to flash cure every now and then now i'm using a bit of base coat and a bit of black and i'm just going to add some shading to the outside edges of the balloon i just want to make it a little bit darker you're not going to notice it too much because the, the balloon is that nice deep purple anyway but i mix it with base coat to sort of dilute the black i don't want it that harsh um and it just yeah so you can add as much or as little base coat as you want and then i'm doing the same thing to the white and we're gonna add like because you know when you see a light on a balloon you get the the white you can actually see the white light the, the white of the light reflecting on the balloon so we're adding oh my goodness what is this and um, we're adding some white which is going to be the light reflecting off the balloon i i don't know if i'm making sense tonight <laughs> i'm really quite tired now this video is going to be another late one i'm not doing very well at the minute this week at uploading videos on time but i needed to get this video up today because i want you to make the most of madame glam's 40 percent off for their birthday so don't forget my code you can use is natmughb all in caps that will get you 40% off your order. So now what I'm doing is with the black not diluted, I'm just gonna go around the outside just to outline the balloon. Okay. 
and then every balloon needs a string so we're just gonna draw on a just I'm gonna, just gonna do this in black um, I was gonna try and make it a curly whirly one but it, that sounds a bit dodgy not a poo not a curly whirly poo <laughs> Oh dear god right stop okay there we go that's gonna be the string pop that up to cure then i'm gonna use the velvet matte top coat from mud and glam this one is really nice it does leave the nail really nice and velvety so this is gonna go over the whole nail to start with i sometimes find with matte top coats in general that sometimes they cure, they, you get little bits that cure around the neck of the bottle. I don't know, not just this one, on like all of them. Um, and I wonder if it's me, but I don't think it is because I usually do the lid up and then I stick it away straight away. Um, I'm going to use the no wipe top coat to go over the balloon because balloons are shiny. It's just like the law. It's a bit like um, people must love glitter. It's like the law. So we're going to go over the balloon with some no wipe top coat i'm using my brush just to carefully move the top coat to the very edge of the balloon you don't want to go over and you don't have to worry too much about the nipply bit at the bottom that you can just leave that if you want to i do put a little bit on but if you're worried that you're gonna you know go over the lines then i honestly wouldn't worry too much but i think i did in the end Okay, so pop that lump to cure and then that is that nail done i actually quite like that nail even though it's pretty simple and um, this next nail i'm going in with some base coat again and we're not going to cure this and we're going to put some again you want quite um you don't want to be too um what's the word you don't want to be too tight with it but you don't want to you don't want to like flood the nail with the top coat um, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to go through the center of this now with a marble. So I'm going to put some of these dots in the sort of the top right hand corner and the bottom left side, if you see what I mean. You'll see what I mean in a minute because I'm going to put the marble going in from the top right down to the bottom left. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to pop that into the lamp. I've just realized I've got top coat on my finger then. Um, I'm now going to put some of the white onto my palette and then into the white. I am going to put a little bit of Honest Sky. I didn't want too much. I just, I just wanted, because I kind of, yeah, and especially the purple. I didn't want too much purple because I didn't want that to. It's quite a vivid colour, like obviously, because that's the name of it. <laughs> um, but it's quite a dark colour in comparison to the others, so I didn't want to put too much in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top with the blooming gel. So we're going to put this on the nail. We're going to cover the whole nail with this. When we put this on, we're not going to cure it. We're going to, no, I was going to say a bit like what we do with the base coat. If you don't have this, you can use base coat. Um, the base coat does the job, but I don't know if it does the job as well as the blooming gel. Because the whole idea of blooming gel is that when you put other colors on it it helps sort of disperse that color and um, so i'm just going to run my little needle tool through the gel polish that i put on the palette and then i've picked it up using my ombre brush and can you see i am moving it down the nail and making a nice marble and then on on either side of the marble we have got those dots which kind of tie in with the other nail So once I'm happy, you can leave it for a, for a few seconds just to sort of disperse a little bit more. I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure. And then again with this one, I'm going to go over with some builder gel, builder in a bottle, just so that I can get rid of the any any lumpy bits. Because if I top coated this, it would, I'm a, I'm a bit, you don't have to do this, but if it was my nail, I'd want it to be completely smooth. I don't know, I'm just a little bit weird like that. And um, if there were like lumps and bumps in it, I'd be a little bit, uh. so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then when it comes out, um, clean it off, clean the um, tacky layer off. And then as I did before, I'll just go over gently with my file. I'm not going to be too rough because all I'm literally doing is getting out the, the like any ridges or lumps or anything. So just be careful. Use the softer side, the less coarse side of your file. So the the higher the the higher the grit, 
the finer it is. So uh, you'll want to use like the 180 side um, because that will be the less coarse. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, as I go, I'm just feeling the nail just to check that there's no ridges. And then once I'm happy, I will again like just clean it off. And look, now I'm buffing. And then I will give it a wipe over, ready to top coat. There we are. I actually quite like this nail. I wasn't sure at first, but I kind of liked. I kind of liked it. Um, and then we're going to use the no wipe top coat to go over this nail. And because I've used the purple in the balloon, so I wanted to tie the purple in um, on another nail so that it kind of brought the whole set together. There we go, that's going to go into the lamp and I'm going to put them all together and, oh you can't really see here, but I'm going to show you them all together. Um, I hope you did like this set, if you did please leave me a like, if you haven't already do consider subscribing. Don't forget to make the most of the 40% off code um, to celebrate Madame Glam's birthday and I will see you beautiful lot on Thursday with a new video. Bye, I love you! <laughs>